Tanzania imepata ugeni wa wadau wa soka ambao inawezekana kila kiongozi au mchezaji angependa kujifunza kupitia kwao. Hao ni ofisa mtendaji mkuu wa klabu ya Everton ya England Robert Aston pamoja na mchezaji gwiji wa klabu hiyo Leon Osman mmoja wa viungo waliocheza mechi nyingi zaidi wakiwa na Everton. Mahojiano maalum kupitia Global TV online pamoja na Aston baada hapo alifuatia Osman ambaye okay. alizungumzia mambo kadhaa ikiwemo kuhusiana okay. na wachezaji wa Afrika anao wakubali zaidi. Yeah, no, it's been uh, it's been a great experience. We've only been here less than 24 hours, so um, we haven't seen a great deal. But what we've seen is a lot of uh, smiling faces, a lot of great hospitality, and uh, and and some passion for football. The most pleasurable bit was seeing uh, the young lads this morning and and seeing uh, Leon work with them and uh, and their passion for football, their dedication, you know, what they've actually achieved, the standard they were at. So that was really nice. So we a uh, great first impression. Yeah, no. I hope so. I mean, I think the, the the game we're really looking forward to the game, which is July the 13th here in uh, Dar es Salaam. We're really looking forward to that. And in many ways, that's the introduction of Everton into into East Africa. So we are hoping that's the start of a of a great partnership. We're hoping it's the start of many, many more new Everton fans. So the game is a great opportunity for us to tell this part of the world what Everton's all about. It's a chance for us to introduce Ronald Koeman and our fantastic first team squad. So um, hopefully, and I'm sure it will, it'll kick off the partnership in, 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 in a great way. And you have a, a chance, uh, uh, you give the chance to play with the, uh, the champion of uh, sports business. Yeah, yeah, no, I imagine that's uh, quite a good prize and uh, and I'm sure those games are going to be uh, fiercely contested so that's great that Spot Pacer have created that tournament and we're looking forward to to playing the winner um, um, I'm sure whatever out the outcome of that is it's going to be a great game on July the 13th but I would just wish all the clubs competing in that uh, you know the best of luck and yeah, we're really looking forward to playing playing the winner no, we have a very um, intensive uh, pre-season schedule. Every every day is meticulously planned. The players will only have just been back into pre-season. Um, so we are uh, departing straight after the game to get into the next phase of, of development. You know, we, we play a, a Europa League qualifying game at the end of July. We have a pre-season game against Sevilla at Goodison and then we kick off the Premier League. So the Premier League's round incredibly soon and when you start to think about that time frame you know every day is really important every day is very meticulously planned so you know Ronald and the team need to get back home and get back to work yeah and, and uh, if, if you see in your uh, Premier League you can see Everton in the middle like uh, six, seven, day six, seven, four. Yeah. maybe what do you do to change this one day maybe we can yeah. see the champions or second chance yeah no we, we um, we've got great ambition we've great great hopes of pushing higher and higher up the league over a sustained period to have been seventh in the league is something we're proud of but it's not something we're uh, satisfied with we want more and we uh, we want to push on uh, even further our latin motto is nil satis nisi optimum which means nothing but the best will will do and and that's something we believe in every single day uh, at, at everton so we have to push on we've got um, great ambition now within our shareholding our new majority shareholder is uh, is very ambitious for the future of the club and is already making commitment and investment in that we're very excited about new stadium plans so i think if we get you know all those ingredients uh, are there we have great youth development so we have some fantastic young players coming through our academy so if you've got great youth development you've got a very very uh highly qualified, highly, highly regarded manager, you've got the investment coming through the new shell, you've got potential in a new stadium, then terrific ingredients in place for a, for a bright future at Everton. And, uh, uh, my last question to you, because you are a professional accountant, so after you come here, the opportunity for business, where did you see me? Um, I think, you know, on a, on, a, on a personal level, on an Everton level, the opportunity for business is, um, is largely, you know, our relationship with um, Sport Pacer and Sport Pacer and Everton will work to introduce Everton Football Club to 
uh, the people of Tanzania, the people of Kenya, the people of East Africa. So that's an opportunity for us to grow our fan base. One thing we're working on right now at Everton is a membership scheme and it will be a membership scheme that is tailored very much to different markets and different territories. So in the fullness of time, I think people in this part of the world will be able to subscribe to be an Everton member with some content that is relevant to them. I think we also you know, welcome the opportunity to talk to consumer brands based out in this part of the world because you know what Spot Pacer is proving is that football is a great conduit to have a dialogue with its consumers and you know to be able to talk to other East African brands about how we can help them grow their businesses and meet their marketing challenges uh, you know that would be terrific too. Um, I managed it by setting goals um, you know I, I'm not really one to set massive I was never really one in my career that wanted to to set massive goals but I always needed to do more so when when I was um, trying to get in the first team I wanted to play one game I said to myself just get one game in the Premier League and then when I played one game I wanted five and then once I got five, ten, and fifty, and then a hundred, and even once I'd played three hundred and fifty games, I wanted to play four hundred. I needed to get, I needed to get to the next level. So, uh, just by always having that, that drive and that desire to, to want to do better and want to achieve more for yourself, that, that helped me play so many games for Everton. Yeah, well, you know, some of the, the very best players who've, who've played in the Premier League are are African players, um, Samuel Eto'o and, and Didier Drogba, to name but a few. Um, you know, I had the privilege of playing with Samuel Eto'o for a, for a brief period, and um, as, as I mentioned, that's something I'll certainly be telling my children when they're, when they're old enough to understand. And uh, But one of the, the most skillful players I ever played with was, was Stephen Pienaar, and I was lucky enough to play with him for, for a number of years, um, teammates and you know he was so skillful on the pitch but also in training where um, you know he always had a big smile on his face as well and um, you know I've got very very fond memories of Stephen very warm things to say about him and um, you know having come to Tanzania for the for the first time that that smile is still on everyone's face over here so you know it's really it's been really great to see Um, well, thank you for telling me I'm not that big. <laughs> um, yeah, it's always been always been difficult, you know. Looking when you when you line up in the tunnel before the game, um, and you look you're looking across to the guy you're playing against. For most of the time, I was I was looking across and up. I've, I've actually got a bad neck now from from all the times I did that. Um, but yeah, I'm never going to be out muscling people and, and, and competing people in that way. So I had to find um, another way of doing it. So, you know, you have to be clever. You have to know what you're good at. So, um, you know, I would always try and use my feet or try and read the game quicker than everybody else. You have to find an advantage um, on the pitch to suit you, something you're good at that it makes you better than your opponents. And thankfully, I was I was able to do that more often than not. Okay, thank you. I think I was there. Just one more here, guys. No problem. One more picture. Yes,